hello everyone and welcome to my channel today i am doing something different i am educating some of the people out there who would like to know about coronavirus as a nurse and healthcare provider i like to educate people and i myself was wondering what coronavirus is so i decided to put together a video a lot most of the information taken from cdc website if you feel like you need more information go go ahead and head over to cdc they have explained everything in detail so let's get started first of all what coronavirus is what is coronavirus if like any other virus it's a very new virus it has been just identified i think december 31st 2019 so um it's almost a month old virus a lot of things are unknown uh, maybe tomorrow a new story comes up and all the information that i'm giving you might be wrong so this is how medicine works sometimes things are good sometimes are bad and it just go back and forth so this virus is mostly found in animal in different species of animal for example camels and bat it was first identified in wuhan china as i told you december 31st new year eve and there is a coronavirus strain already in u.s but this is different from what we have in usa it's a new strain of coronavirus a lot of things are unknown okay how the coronavirus causes the infection okay um the way it was discovered a lot of some people they came to the hospital in china with uh symptoms like pneumonia and when they uh did the investigation found out how they got sick and how do how do they got pneumonia it was said they were linked to work or they had a yeah it was this link they were found linked to work in the uh, animal place or a big seafood or animal market as coronavirus is zoonotic which means uh, animal virus mostly found in animal so at that point uh, the chinese authorities or doctors they thought this is transfer from animal to human but after a few days say some other people came with the same symptoms but they never worked in the seafood market or animal market so at this point now the theory is are they does the virus transfer human to human or animal to human we still have to find out about this and they are working on it and we will see what is the, r r the real mode of transmission okay as the virus was before contained in china as it was identified there now because of worldwide travel it has been uh, there have been cases in different part of the world usa had about i think five or 62 i'm not sure at that point all right the symptoms that you can see in a patient who has suffered from coronavirus mostly is for healthcare people coronavirus when health, when a nurse take the history of the patient patient have fever cough and shortness of breath and they have traveled um past two weeks from china or they have came in contact with somebody who had traveled from the china so the virus can make it in each individual sick differently for example if the patient already have different disease or patients are not strongly immune it can attack them worse than anybody who is not immunosuppressant i immunosuppressant i would say the, what is the treatment how we treat the patients with coronavirus uh there is no vaccine as of yet as it's a very new virus strain the vaccination takes a pro uh, takes time and procedure and protocol and the only thing we do to help with the symptoms just like any other flu virus i'm not don't mix up flu with the coronavirus 
so if you have food drink lots of dip drink drink lots of uh water rest humidification humidifier this is what we do we just support care for to reduce the symptoms all right what is the main concern one of the most important thing you need to know about coronavirus is how to take care of yourself how to save yourself from catching this virus so cdc has some recommendation this is basically general recommendation for any disease outbreak but i would like to elaborate it more and uh it can be used for any outbreak pneumonia asthma influenza uh, measles clostridium i can name a lot of diseases as i'm a nurse but this is what is the general recommendation of cdc so let's see if I get to that slide. I would suggest I would uh, suggest all of you who have questions head over to cdc.gov, and a lot of your question can be answered. All right. So what? Well, how you can prevent yourself? Avoid being exposed. Sometimes it is inevitable because you can do it. You are working. I'm a working healthcare worker. I might come into contact with a patient. I can do it. But if you are at home, you're a mom, you can keep the kids home rather than going out to a mall or a shopping center or restaurant. Keep them home. One of the most important, the most important thing, if you can take away from this video, wash your hands with soap and water 20 seconds. This is more than enough just to uh, uh, keep you healthy in any outbreak. Uh, if you don't have soap and water, you can use alcohol-based sanitizer. They have to be 60% alcohol sanitizer. All right, I am not able to see the last one. What is it? Um, in the infection prevention. Okay, do not come close to somebody who is sick. Okay, wash your hands, alcohol sanitizer. Don't touch your eyes, nose, mouth with unwashed hands. Avoid close contact with people who are sick. You don't know what they are carrying. Either maybe you are carrying the virus, you get them sick, just avoid playing. Concern your, cover your cough and sneeze with a tissue and trash it out. I have seen people, they blow their nose and they put the tissue back into their pocket. Don't do it. Tissues are very cheap. Okay, also clean and disinfect any surfaces that have been used frequently. Lysol is one of your best friend. Lysol or Clorox, 10% bleach, they can also kill HIV, so you can imagine how strong it is. You make sure, or they also sell the Lysol uh, aerosol spray. They sell Lysol wipes. You can use whatever, make sure you protect your family don't come in contact with pets because you want to uh, take care of your furry friends okay avoid sharing household items monitor your symptoms if you feel like your shortness of breath is getting even worse or mm, you are coughing more or you cannot breathe you need to call your doctor wear mask if you're gonna go see your physician as you know they are and you're not only be you are not going to be the only one patient call ahead and tell them your symptom they will take they will make some special arrangements to see you so you are not infecting other people be consider considerate for other and as i said a lot stay home as much as you can if you can Separate yourself from other people in your home, like wear masks, what masks are cheap. The only thing you can, um, uh, you know, uh, survive, I'm not saying we are all dying, don't mark my word for word, I'm just trying to educate. Precaution, I'd rather be safe than sorry. Precautions are the best thing you can do. So 
I hope I have answered some of your questions. Um, if you have any more questions, you can leave it down below in the comment section. If I know more information, any updated information, I will sure to come back and update it. So uh, there is a travel advisory for people who are going to be traveling back and forth to China. It is recommended you don't travel. I heard there have been some flights canceled. So don't go if you necessarily have to go. CDC has a list of vaccination. You need to have those vaccination. And if you're going to travel to those areas, they have a list of things you need to take. Anti-diarrheal, anti-emetic, anti, um, what else? They have malaria. A lot of things that you can find yourself um helpful for at the cdc website i will leave the link down below this all information was gotten from cdc i hope you have educated somehow at least you know what coronavirus is and how you can protect yourself or your family so i will be saying bye right now it's almost one o'clock and i need to sleep i will see you in my next video if i see another new update i will surely come back and will update you until then bye have a good night bye bye thanks for watching